This is the 11th video in my helicopter tutorial series and I'm going to get right into what I've done. I've um, taken care of some things in between now and the previous video and what I've done is I've added controllers to the helicopter. All of the controllers are now added for the in the game engine. We start off with the mouse controller which was the Python script that controlled the pitch. I've added four additional controllers, two of them being keyboard controls, the S and W keys, and to set those it was simply to access the options, set keyboard, name it, and assign a key for each action. And the two actions I put onto those are my hover and my thrust. So they're both um, altitude types of controls. And then two additional controls I added onto the mouse are the left and right buttons, which just turn the helicopter left and right. In the controllers, these are all very basic. Um, pretty much all I had to do is add them, name them, and connect them. Um, all of them use the AND option for the type of controller. In actuators, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I've named them all appropriately. They're all simple motion controllers. For the hover thrust, which is actually not really a hover, it's closer to a landing speed kind of thrust. I used a force value of 9.4 and to find the value and the correct field to put it in I just experimented. For the main thrust I also use simple motion and again a force value this time of 9.8 and that thrust is well closer to being a hover and the reason I went with um, one thrust that slowly loses altitude and one thrust that maintains it is when I press the S and W keys together I get a level of thrust that is bordering on unreal and ideally in the future I'm hopeful to find a way to get this control onto the mouse as well and would like to have it on the scroll wheel where I can scroll wheel up to increase thrust and scroll wheel down to decrease it as well as learn how to add some constraints to these um, different actuators so that the pitch and thrust are constrained within certain limits because pitch and thrust should have limits on a, on a helicopter for the turning controls, those are very basic as well. Simple motion controllers. I used rotational values, again experimenting in the correct field. And the values that I used are minus 0 0.01 and positive 0 0.01. And the difference between minus and positive in this case is um, simply left and right. One turns right, one turns left. So that's pretty simple. The last thing that I did was to add some controllers to the camera as well. I added a sensor, a controller, and an actuator. The sensor is default and the same as the controller, so I have always, and, and simply connected them. All I really had to do was add them. And the camera is an option in the actuators options so mostly that does everything and all I really had to do was type the name of the object I wanted it to follow which is the body the helicopter's body and I did some experimenting with the settings um, there's a height setting which I used a value of 7 and then a setting name minimum and maximum as well as a choice between whether the camera follows along X or Y and I simply use the maximum values in these as they seem to work the best for me having 
those settings and again that was largely just experimentation one other thing that I should mention that I had done with the camera was to change its object properties I changed its property from static to no collision and that way it wouldn't bump into the helicopter body as it was moving around at this point I don't figure that there's much more to do than to give some closing and final words on the project um, this is about as far as I'm able to take it at this point I won't say it's my final video with the project if I'm to find some good game related types of information and how to get this helicopter into a more of a gaming situation with goals and consequences and such I'll most certainly come around and share it and same goes if I come across some really good ways of making a environment for it to interact with I'll also come back and share that and those are my two intentions as I'll be working on the project on a hobby level and looking at giving an environment and trying to learn some Python stuff perhaps give some better motion and movements to the helicopter and and give it a better environment to to be in so other than that I'm considering uh, releasing this video as a first and last video in the series perhaps as somewhat of a prologue type video as well that way people will well they'll number one know that the tutorial reached a concluded state and where that state is that it was really just touched on some really basic stuff in the game engine and didn't actually make it to to any more advanced information on how to create a video game in the software. Myself, um, I'm not actually able to take this project to that level at this time and I know some of the information in, in this tutorial is, is not terribly advanced. Um, I'm actually really just a noob on the software myself. I've only been using it for two to three weeks maybe a little bit more so I have a lot to learn to be able to take this project much further uh, really my intention with giving the tutorial was this project was done in blender uh, open source community software that's offered freely and and it's good to give a little bit back to the free community and one of the best things that people can give to the free community is support with with information and tutorials you know stuff like that and this entire um, tutorial series was also built mostly with free open source community softwares as well so giving a little bit back is a good idea and that was largely part of my intention in in sharing this little helicopter project so that's about it and I hope somebody found this tutorial to be useful to them and happy modeling <laughs>